Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4BMG. Today on HOA Ham, I'm going to show you how to pair your cell phone to your MM DVM hotspot. So when you travel away from home, you can take your DMR radio, your MM DVM hotspot, and your cell phone, and you can work in a hotel room worldwide, no problem. I recently switched over to the iPhone 13 Pro, and I have yet to set it up in my Pistar dashboard. That's what we're going to do today. The first thing that you need to do is to make sure that your cell phone is discoverable. So here's an image of my iPhone 13 Pro. The hotspot has been turned on. And also there's a feature called maximize compatibility that I've turned on to make it easier to find. Next, you know what we're going to do. We're going to go into configuration. And once we get into configuration, you know what we're going to get. The uh, request for our login username and our super secret password pi dash star raspberry okay so where we want to go right now is into uh really just scroll to the bottom once you logged in it's going to take you to the setup page that you need to be on and you're going to come down here to where it says configure wi-fi Obviously, I'm on my home Wi-Fi right now because you can see that I had contacts that were showing up on my dashboard. Let's go into configure Wi-Fi and you can see right here, this is my home dashboard. Scan for networks. This is going to take a couple of seconds. So if it takes too long, I'll blank myself out here and fast forward. Wasn't too bad. And my iPhone is not showing up. Wow, isn't that special? Let's do another scan for networks. And we'll wait again. And there is my iPhone this time. I'll just... Uh, Remove this picture here. And right here, you can see my iPhone. Select your phone. And now you can see that it's popped up into the screen here above. It tells what the name of the device is. And then you're going to have to type in your password. Hit save and connect. And again, it will take uh, several seconds to refresh. So we can see that it did a refresh. Let's go back into configure Wi-Fi and see if it is there. And there it is. So here's my cell phone. So you'll see later on in the video today how I utilize this at the hotel room where we're traveling to for the weekend. I'm in my hotel room away from home, but not separated from my ham way of life. I'm going to show you briefly how that little bit of pre-work we did in the shack will pay off when you're traveling. All we did was go into our digital hotspot dashboard and connect our MMDBM hotspot to our wireless phone so that when we travel, we still have internet access. We're going to set up over here on the corner of the TV stand and that should give us sufficient room to get the minimal gear you need to operate while traveling. Good old signal stick. If you don't know these people, <laughs> you need to find these people. I'll link in the description below for all the accessories and materials included that I'm using today. Of course I'm using the Anytone 878. When you're traveling, this is all you need to communicate internationally. If you have an analog and a digital 
HT. You can talk both locally on repeaters and worldwide, maybe through those repeaters if they're digital, and certainly worldwide through a hotspot. You need your cell phone, an antenna, a battery pack. That's all we need to talk worldwide and locally when we're traveling. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that my iPhone is sharing its hotspot. Personal hotspot is off. Turn it on. Allow others to join and make sure that maximize compatibility is selected. Now, when I turn on my SkyBridge from Bridgecom, it will recognize the internet that is being provided through my cell phone. We're gonna come back to that cell phone in a minute. Let's go ahead and plug in the hotspot. Okay, now, if you're not using DNC connectors on your HTs, what are you waiting for? connected. Turn it on. Don't need GPS right now. Okay, my hotspot has found my wireless LAN, which is coming through my cell phone. Let's go into our internet browser, and here we're going to type in pi-star, if you have a non-iPhone, if you have an iPhone, you're going to type in pi-star.local. Right, I've used it before, so you can see it's there, pi-star.local, go. <laughs> Look at what comes up. And immediately, you can see that my hotspot is recognizing other people talking. So in a matter of seconds, we're golden. Now in my Anytone 878, I need to get to the correct zone. All right, I am on worldwide. Let's see what's going on. All right, just stop keying up, somebody talk. And you can see that our dashboard is capturing all the communications. I've removed my wireless lapel mic and I'm placing the transceiver uh, halfway between me and the HT. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, see if we can't key up and uh, prove to you that it's not just reception that we're getting, but also that we can transmit and people can hear us as well. Let's see if we can break into this busy talk group 91. And of course the cell phone, you know, it wants to shut off. This is KD4BMG uh, traveling remote uh, coming into the talk group via a hotspot through my cell phone. Could somebody come back and just confirm to me that my signal's coming through okay? Over. Bravo Mike Golf, this is Mike Mark 7 Romo Golf Mike from South West Scotland, Q5, good quality signal, over. MM7RGM, KD4BMG, uh, thanks friend, I'm uh, operating out of uh, Tampa, Florida today, actually I live in Tampa, Florida, I'm operating out of Orlando, Florida, forgetting where I am uh, traveling and just uh, this is the first time that I've set up using my hotspot going through my cell phone and wanted to confirm, sounds like everything's coming through good, over. Copy that, Roger. The name here is Bob. Uh, pleasure to meet your acquaintance and uh, first conversation here on uh, uh, DMR. So uh, thank you very much, friend. Uh, hope you have a safe and wonderful day, 73. Mike, 
So much ham and so little time. That's been my biggest challenge since becoming a ham radio operator. Of course, I enjoy operating HF from my homeowners association home with uh, restrictions on antennas and uh, still operating around the world and making QSOs uh, in Europe and South America, all over the United States, Hawaii, Alaska. Uh, so much for those HOA restrictions. It's just a challenge and it's actually fun to overcome them. I enjoy DMR for a lot of reasons that I'll talk about in the future, but I wanted to show you today how you can travel and with this minimal amount of gear, this minimal amount of gear in your suitcase, your overnight case, in a tiny little pouch, you can communicate locally with your FM repeaters wherever you're traveling. And then of course you can operate internationally through those repeaters if they're digital or through your digital hotspot. There's absolutely no reason to be disconnected from the world with the technology at our fingertips today. I hope you found this helpful, friend. I'll talk to you soon, 73.